To create a car rim, you should first find a reference. I will show you how to make a rim using a model I previously created as a reference. Create a circle, align it, and delete the unnecessary vertices. You don't need to create the entire shape of the rim. Making just one section is enough. Select the vertices, press E to extrude, and use S to scale and align them. Then, I add a loop cut here to ensure it looks good when the subdivision is applied. Select the vertex and press Shift S to move the cursor to that vertex's location. Then, set the transform pivot point to 3D cursor, select the entire model, duplicate it, and press S, then type minus 1 to create the symmetry of the model. Enable the X ray mode, select the vertices, press M and choose the By Distance option to merge the vertices. Then, in Object Mode, press Shift-S again to move the cursor to the center of the circle. After that, switch back to Edit Mode, select the entire model, press Alt-E, and choose the Spin option. Open the Options panel, enable the Use Duplicates option, and enter the number of repetitions for the shape. Since my model repeats 8 times, I entered 8. Since a copy of your model is created at the same location, delete the selected vertices to avoid overlap. Select the entire model, press M again, and choose Merge by Distance. This will merge the duplicated parts together. Extrude the entire model to give it some thickness, then delete the selected faces. Next, press W to change the selection tool. Select the faces at the ends, and delete them as well. This way, when you apply subdivision, the shape of the model will remain intact. Press Ctrl-2 to apply the subdivision. If you encounter any issues, switch to Edit Mode, select all the faces, and press Shift-N to fix the normals. Select these faces, enable proportional editing, and adjust it to the setting I show you. Then, adjust it by moving the vertices slightly to create the desired slope. Select the vertices, set the transform pivot point to median point, and then extrude. Add a loop cut to improve the shape and adjust its position accordingly. Next, select the faces where you want to create the screw holes. Press I to inset the faces, then right-click and choose Circle from the Loop Tools tab. Then, set the transform pivot point to individual origins to adjust the shape of all of them at once, and scale the size accordingly. Extrude a bit, then extrude again to push it back as far as you want. After that, delete the faces. Create another circle, scale it to align with the outermost part of your model, and shape it as desired. Select the edges and press Ctrl B to apply a bevel. After adding the desired materials, your rim is ready. Don't forget to follow for more modeling techniques and tutorial videos.